Rodney's a wildlife biologist whose passion is saving one of the most amazing creatures on Earth. His office is the High Himalaya. He spends half of his time roaming around, following the paths of snow leopards and trying to learn as much about them as he can. I was born in South Africa, grew up in Zimbabwe. I was a very quiet child, shy. And when I was around nature, you know, I just felt so much more at ease. When I came to Nepal the first time, 1976, that opened many new ways of looking at nature. Snow leopards changed my life. Rodney Jackson has devoted his life to conserving one of the most beautiful, elusive, and captivating of all the world's predators, the snow leopard. The cats primarily range in the high mountains of Asia and were endangered for decades by human activities. But in order to save them, Jackson first had to find them. In the 1980s, Jackson pioneered radio tracking collars and used camera traps to capture some of the first ever images of snow leopards in the wild. To preserve any species, you need to know something about their numbers. Radio collars are fantastic because they allow you to follow a ghost, an animal you never see. You start to know about its habitat. Suddenly, here we could get information on how far the snow leopard would move each day. We're right past you. I think that opened so many worlds. The hard-earned data obtained by tracking cats showed there were more snow leopards in the wild than previously thought. But as human populations increased in areas where the cats lived, Jackson was forced to turn his attention to mitigating conflict between local farmers and the snow leopard. With snow leopards, they range over huge territory, over 12 different countries. What you've really got to do is change a culture. I was in a village with Rodney, and a snow leopard got in a corral and had killed 55 sheep and goat in one night, a single snow leopard. And it was about half the net worth of this village. Protecting snow leopards may be lost in their minds, so you get this very strong conflict between the cat and the humans. Rodney saw corral predator proofing as one of the biggest needs for saving the cats. What we want to do is get them to value the snow leopard alive rather than dead. For governments and for uh, countries to protect snow leopards, they really need uh, long-term plans. There's a global plan called the G-SLIP, that all of the 12 snow leopard nations have contributed to, with the goal that by the year 2020, they will have 20 landscapes of snow leopards secured from threat and thriving. In 2017, the IUCN delisted the snow leopard from endangered to vulnerable, a small victory for Jackson, but there is still much more to do to ensure long-term success. This snow leopard is about your age. I'm very encouraged. I really need to be working on mentoring the next generation of snow leopard conservationists, and, and that's going to be my goal for the next 10 years. I've been very frustrated at times because I've never seen a cat for weeks or years at a time. And then I just have to look at the picture, to think about the cats, to revisit in my mind my early sightings. This animal, God, it's just so incredible. There's no question, I'm going back. I'm going back as long as I can walk. 